going to elaborate on the pentatonic scale, making it more fun to play, more musical, and we're going to learn two techniques along the way, the hammer-on and the pull-off. Most melodies weave through a scale, rather than just ascend or descend, like we did in lesson one. We are going to weave through the scale by playing three notes, and then backtracking to that previous note. One, two, three, back. So the pattern, our weave, is one, two, three, backwards. Then we continue on to the A string. One, two, three, backwards. Continue on to the D string. One, two, three, back. One, two, three, back. That one started on G. Then we go to the B string. One, two, three, back. So our pattern again is playing three notes and then going back one note. And then we continue right along. So that pattern begins on each string. I start on E, then I start on A, then I start on D, then G, then B, and then I finish off by playing the last two notes. Start by picking our higher note, which is going to be the 8th fret of the A string, 
and without picking a second time, we're going to lift that finger up off the fretboard or pulling off to the seventh fret of the A string, only picking once. So I picked the eighth fret of A, middle finger, and then without picking again, I lifted it off or pulled off the string to the seventh fret of the A string. A hammer goes up, ascending, and a pull-off is descending. With pull-offs, you have to have both notes ready to be played. With a hammer, only the first note has to be started off, and then we add the next finger. That's the main difference between the two techniques. That and the fact that one is ascending and one is descending. Now that we've learned how to hammer on and pull off, we're going to insert the techniques into the pentatonic weave. To do the ascending pentatonic weave with hammer-ons, we're going to start by playing the seventh fret of the E string. Without picking again, we're going to hammer on to the 10th fret of the E string. Same string. So we're going to pick, hammer, and then we're going to pick the third note of the scale, and then we're going to pick the returning of the second note. So the backtracking one note. Same pattern we learned previously. One, two, three, back. Except now, we're hammering from the first to the second note. Pick, hammer, pick, pick. And then we would do the same on the A string. We start the pattern. Pick, hammer, pick, pick. And then we would continue on to the D string and initiate the same pattern, one, two, three, back, with the hammer from the first to the second note. Hammer, pick. with our hammer, we pick and then hammer, pick, pick, and then we'll hammer the last two notes. So that would be pick, hammer, pick, 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 hammer, pick, pick. picking that note, we're going to pull off to the seventh fret of the same string. Again, high E string. So we play ten, pull off to seven. And then I continue the pattern. So that's tenth fret on E, seventh fret on E, which is pulled off. Then we're playing the tenth fret on B back to the seventh fret on E. So that's play, pull off, pick, continue the weaving pattern with pull-offs. That would go to the B string 10th fret and the same pattern would ensue. So we play the 10th fret of B, pull off to the 7th, 9th fret of G, back to the 7th fret of, of B. So pick, pull off, pick, pick, and then continue to G. 9th, pull off, pick, strings at a time. When I do the first part of the pentatonic weave, I would be barring the E and the A string with my pointer finger on the 7th fret. 
By doing that, I don't have to leave the string and then reposition. It's a lot of extra work and there's no purpose to do it. So I'm barring two strings at a time. So the first set is done by barring E and A. The second set will be done by barring A and D. That way pointer finger doesn't have to have excess motion. And then I bar D and G for the third part. And then I would be barring G and B for the next part. And then I would be barring B and E for the last part. When descending the pentatonic weave, using three fingers instead of two is going to save you a lot of extra motion. Same way as barring helps when you're ascending, using three fingers is going to help when you're descending. So I like to use ring, pointer, and middle finger for almost all the string sets until I get to the E string. Then I use my pinky for the 10th fret. So that would be like this. Ring, pointer, middle, pointer. The first part of the descending pentatonic weave would be like this. And then the second part. Third part, on, starting on G. D string, then A string. Now this is where I add my pinky. So as I descend the pentatonic weave, I'm using ring, pointer, middle, pointer, up until I get to the 10th fret of the E string. In that case, I'm going ring, pointer, pinky, pointer. But that saves just as much time as barring and saves just as much energy as barring does in the ascending. So ascending we bar, descending we use multiple fingers. Once you can ascend and descend the pentatonic weave, try doing both in one attempt.